Hi all. Uh, in this video cast, uh, I'll talk about uh, handling the form actions and navigations in JSF2 based applications. Uh, so I'll just demonstrate how easily we can handle the form action and and, and handle navigation in JSF2 based applications. Uh, the navigation part uh, of any JSF based application prior to JSF2.0. They, they need a lo lot of configuration level things in faces config.xml. Uh, you have to configure a lot of things in faces config.xml like from uh, view ID to view ID, then the form uh, action outcome. Uh, so since uh, we uh, the, the main target of JSF2 is eliminating the dependency of faces config XML. Uh, so how do we achieve that uh, through annotations or normal uh, simple way, simpler way? Uh, so to demonstrate that, uh, I'll use my same old example what I have used in my previous video. I'll add a form component over here. So, okay, ideal just gives a form, and let me add a few. Input text. Uh, so I'll enter something over here. This is the uh, level output, HTML level uh, for ID. This works like a HTML level component. Now, you. Now um, let's say I have here one thing we need to have value. Value will give it later on. Uh, okay. Now we we'll switch back to my uh, manage bin. So here I need to create an action over here. Say public string. Action, and let's say return. Welcome. Let's say your uh, okay, welcome. And here, since I have used the input text, I have to have a uh, field over in my uh, bin so that I can bind uh, the text field to my. Uh, Field in my grid bin in my uh, JSF finish bin. Uh, so like let's say action and have the and have the get inserters. So we are done. Now now what I have to do so here in value what I'll do to same my different expression language then so by this my JSF uh, the faces servlet will bind this input text field to this particular string okay now the next import important thing h colon command command button Yeah, action is similarly we need to we have to use uh, the default expression language uh, then copy the method name sorry invoke action now this is a pretty simple uh, if, uh, if form component of whatever I have created uh, 
with a form tag then i have used a output level whatever i have used in my previous video also then output level for, for, for uh, 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 i need to enter something in my um, target area uh, sorry in my input text then i have i did the binding of my input text with uh, my jsf minus bin field uh, then i am just i have used a command button to invoke that action uh, now how do we handle navigation the moment you click on the uh, action it will go here now how do i invoke uh, this action uh, so in in jsf they have made pretty simple then the navigation is made pretty simple uh, we don't have to configure anything in fs config xml so uh, whatever you written in, in the corresponding action the, the written type should be a string and whatever you have written it will just append to append a dot xhtml and we just return it say example uh, i am returning welcome so it will just go to it will search for a file in the web content folder called welcome dot xhtml okay automatically it does that so we have to give according to our requirement we have to give the file name so for our page we have to create a page called xhtml i have to create a xhtml page named the uh, welcome so you just you delete this i'll just say output text i'll just uh, our output level now to see uh, whether the whatever we have entered in my uh, text for class is coming or not we'll just print this So this is done. Uh, so just I need to. Okay, my application is deployed. Now let's refresh this. So I need to restart my server once. You see. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, I did a mistake here. I didn't give any. Button name. So okay. Uh, now you can see this is the uh, uh, this is from uh, this output level. Now I have given this output level as again enter the target. This is what is coming, and uh, this is my text box. So the moment I'll just start it here. Say example, I'll just say company. Then what I'll do? I'll just click check. So so you can see it goes to uh, this welcome dot xhtml page directly. So it comes here. Sorry, I did a mistake here again. So I have written it over here. One minute. Let it be deployed. Okay, it's deployed now. We verify it again. Okay, now say Apni. Now the moment I check, you can see uh, the target action method. Uh, sorry, the Mm 
Now say I give you Avni and you go check. So you can see the grid inbook action is called and uh, uh, the property whatever I have set has come here. So the binding is successful like uh, whatever I have given it here that I input the text tip uh, field. Um, I am able to get it up in my manage bin. And since I, as I told you, uh, the written type should be a, uh, a valid name and we have, we, sh we should have a XHTML page by that name. Uh, so automatically our Facebook server will forward the request to the welcome XHTML page. So if you see, this is what we get, we, we get from the XHTML pages. So this is a uh, simplest example have of having a form in, in our page and uh, and where we have also demonstrated uh, simplest way of uh, having a navigation in my uh, JSF NSB. Even if if you want to have a conditional check, uh, according to the target action, you can have multiple XML pages and according to the target action, you can check it here and uh, uh, return the corresponding file name or the XML page name. Uh, so that that way we can even if, uh, more easily uh, achieve the navigation in JSO based applications.